Assalamu alaikum, Samir Soge with you. I have an IKEA Tupler roller blind which forms the background here. Behind that is my room window. Uh, the window has such a film that uh, when it becomes dark outside, uh, the window becomes transparent and anyone can look inside. And I don't want anyone to look into what even I'm cooking. As you might be aware, I'm a very hardworking, lazy person and I cannot pull the blinds every day uh, at sunrise or sunset. So I have automated these blinds such that when it becomes sensor it goes down and when it becomes sunrise it goes up uh, i have taken inspiration from uh, p goat who has made uh, similar uh, blinds uh, on thingiverse and who has taken inspiration from an instructable the reason why i'm making this video is because uh, their blind was very short uh, my blind is 180 centimeters long which uh, requires special consideration first of the consideration is the motor torque as we are relying on the model provided by p -Code, we have to use a BYJ48 stepper motor. This is that. And instead of using 5 volts, uh, we have to use 12 volts. 5 volts is just not enough to provide uh, uh, adequate torque. The second is that uh, this blind has uh, two ends. One is the free rolling end and the other is a spring uh, loaded end. Uh, what I have done is I have uh, removed the spring loaded end and I have mounted the model uh, from P Goat. Uh, the reason is that uh, if you have the spring loaded side installed and if you uh, install the 3D model on the other side, uh, the motor doesn't have enough torque to pull the blind up or down as well as uh, uh, to overcome the spring tension. It is very easy for the blinds to go down as additional torque is provided by the uh, weight of the blinds. Getting the blinds up uh, requires a lot of torque. Uh, so I have coated the motor in such a way that every step takes 30 milliseconds. Uh, the result of this is that uh, when the blinds go up, it takes around 15 minutes. But this is the only way this 12 volt motor is able to get the blinds up. Also, it's not a problem for me if it takes 15 minutes or 20 minutes because as it is at sunrise time, I'm sleeping. Also, let's get the blinds up right now and see whether we are able to get it totally up by the time we finish the video. The other consideration is the 3D print. Uh, I have printed this model from a local 3D printer in uh, PLA. Uh, the model is uh, beautiful and strong. Uh, although it is not perfect for my requirement, I have tweaked it to make it work for me. The piece which is supposed to go inside the tube is uh, thinner as compared to the tube and so it will not fit obviously. What I have done is I have rolled electrical tape on that and made it thicker and now it uh, fits snugly into the tube. The other thing is that uh, if you are having fixed length for your blinds, uh, this model uh, will make your setup longer. So uh, your blinds will not fit then. Uh, if that is the case for you, then you may have to cut the blinds to shorten it so as to accommodate the model and the blinds. Uh, the other thing is that uh, the holder is longer as compared to the other end of the blind and so it will appear skewed as compared to the surface you are mounting on. The cover for the motor is useless because uh, when you put this on, uh, and when the blinds start to roll up, uh, this piece is too thick and it will start blocking the blinds uh, and uh, block it from winding. The other thing is that uh, it doesn't have a, a, a hole for the wires to come out. I have cut it out, but uh, it doesn't come by default. In order to make this, you require a BYJ48 stepper motor and the ULN2003 motor driver. You require a 12 volt uh, motor, not uh, 5 volts. Uh, you require a 12 volt power supply. You require a UBEC uh, to convert 12 volts to 5 volts. You require the 3D print, obviously. Uh, you require a microcontroller like ESP32, ESP8266, uh, 
uh, an Arduino which is having Wi-Fi. You will also require ball bearings and uh, I'll link that in the video description. You'll require several screws and uh, those you'll have to get according to your requirement. The assembly is very basic and you can follow it from P Goat's uh, Thingiverse. The only thing is that uh, you will have to tweak here and there according to your requirement. Let's head to the desk and see how the connections are. So this is the entire connection. 12 volt DC goes into this Vigo connector over here. It is split into two. One of it is going to this UBEC which is converting from uh, 12 volts to 5 volts. This is required to power the ESP8266 via 5 volts. Another connection is going straight 12 volt to the UL, ULN2003. Uh, this is uh, powering the motor. Also uh, 4 pins from the ESP826 goes directly as control pins for the motor on the motor driver. And the motor is directly connected to the ULN2003. This will uh, further connect to the 3D printed gear drive. Now let's see the code. This project relies on MQTT for controlling the blinds. A message of 1 will take the blinds up and a message of 0 will take the blinds down. We are not using limit switches as I was not comfortable in placing the limit switches uh, in my setup. We are uh, relying on the steps of a stepper motor. So uh, when the blinds is all rolled up, that is considered as step 0. And when the blinds is all rolled down, for me, that is considered as step 36384. Uh, this 36384 will vary depending on how long you want the blinds to go down. Uh, and accordingly, you'll have to change the max step size. When you install the blinds first, your blind most probably will be somewhere in the middle. So you have to use the up code to take the blinds up to the level you want. And then when it, it has reached there, then you will have to take the blinds down and you will have to count the steps it takes to get it in the down position the position in which you consider it as totally down these positions will be saved in eeprom so that even when the power goes off uh, your uh, sketch will remember the position of the blind if at any time the blinds get stuck in the middle due to any issue you will have to use the up code again to take it to zero position and then re-upload the main sketch. Let's check the code for the blinds going up. So these are the four pins of the ESP8266. In, in this code, I'm setting 4096 as the max step uh, because I want the blinds uh, to go few steps and then stop few steps and then stop so that when I reach close to the top uh, I don't want the blinds to get rolled up too much so as to uh, destroy either the blinds or the 3d printed gear so let's say if you are reaching the top better is to change 4000 steps to 2000 steps or 1000 steps so that you can slowly reach the up position you want after that you uh, initialize all pins as low this will be when the motor is off after that this code will take it through 4000 steps and then stop as i have already mentioned before the motor which is 12 volts does not produce enough torque to take the blinds up fast the only way we can get it up is uh, if we use both the coils of the motor in all the case you can see two pins are high which means both the coil is activated. It will be slow but it will definitely take the blinds up. I have set a, a delay of 30 millisecond because this is required in order to able to energize the coils and be able to generate enough torque. When we reach the up position then we need to take the blinds down manually via this code. Uh, we need this code because we need to find out how many step it takes to go from up to down. So I already know that it is 36864 for me. But uh, you might have to change this to let's say 5000, 10,000 and upload the code once. 
and then it will go uh, a certain position and then you will have to again maybe 10,000 more or 5,000 more or 15,000 more and you have to count this thing because in the final code you will require the step it requires to go from up to down as in uh, previous code we are initializing uh, the pins as low over here and as output this code will take the blinds down here I'm activating only one coil because one coil is enough to take the blinds down much of the work is being done by the weight of the blinds also uh, a delay of 2 milliseconds is enough uh, to rotate the gear and after that setting all the pins to low which will stop the motor after it reaches uh, the down position you will come to know how much step it takes uh, for the blinds to go from up to down position and that you will have to use in the main code as i have already mentioned before we will be relying on mqtt messages for controlling the uh, blinds and uh, from previous steps we got the max step and this is my SSID and this is my MQTT server via this message we will be sending 1 and 0 position to the ESP8266 we are relying on EEPROM to get the position in case uh, there is a power outage and that is uh, what this command is doing when you get a um, one message on MQTT you start the code for taking the blinds up hi hi as I have already mentioned before that uh, you need to activate both the coil and in all the cases there is high two times on two of the pins after that uh, the step count will decrease because when the blinds is down the step will be 36864 so obviously the step count has to decrease and what I have done is that you know maximum talk will be required when the blinds is at the bottom position because uh, the motor has to carry all the weight of the blind so what I have done is uh, in few of the steps uh, I have used 30 millisecond delay and when the blind is maybe uh, somewhere in the middle I have reduced the delay to 25 millisecond and then to 20 millisecond to make it roll up faster but still the entire thing rolls up very very slow maybe it will take 15 15 minutes or so when it reaches its final position it will save that in EEPROM so that when there is a power outage and next time you uh, turn on the ESP8266 it will remember the position it was last in similarly uh, when you send uh, the ESP8266 a message of zero it will start to roll down and the roll down is uh, much easier as compared to roll up you have to use only uh, one coil and as can be seen in the cases uh, obviously when you have to roll down the step initial step will be zero and then you have to go on increasing st the step to go to the next step and a delay of two milliseconds is enough to roll down the blind and after it has reached the final position this command will st save the last position into the EEPROM and in the void loop it will eventually listen for MQTT messages in order to control the blinds in an easier way I have integrated uh, this thing with uh, OpenHab so that uh, via a switch I can uh, control the blinds position also I can automate the blinds to go up at uh, sunrise and go down at sunset
so this is uh, the switch for my blinds and uh, this is the MQTT message which is being sent broker is uh, this open hub system itself and this is the message container blinds slash command and for on it will send one and for off it will send zero let's see the rule now so this is the rule for taking the blinds down so i'm using on the astro binding of the open hab so when it detects as a set it will send a command of off which will take the blinds down similarly there is a rule for the blinds going up so when uh, it becomes sunrise and this event will be triggered open hab will send a message of on which will take the blind up few things you have to note is that the blind stay in position due to friction in the gears and, uh, and the motors are not on at this time so if you pull the blinds by any chance or anything like that happens then you will have to use the code for going up again and then upload the main sketch there is no fault tolerance for this there is a variant of this blind which is 200 centimeters wide and i don't think so that my setup will be able to provide enough torque to lift that blind uh, it may work with a slower code but uh, you have to give it a shot if not uh, then you can use the same 12 volt stepper motor uh, in bipolar configuration with a bipolar driver the only thing is that you will have to provide it with uh, 24 volts to drive this uh, stepper motor and most probably it, it will work hope this video has been informative for you thanks for watching and do subscribe